How do we get friends? We already implemented contact upload both in the server and the server API class. We need to map that to the UI though. Facebook nags about uploading contacts all over the place, which is probably something you should do too if you are building a social network. I don't want to get into that deep level of nagging, so I decided to add a floating action button to the friends container. This is a bit tricky though. Normally when we add a floating action button, we add it to a form. This hides some complexity. It seems like we are adding it to a form, but in fact it's hidden to a hidden layered pane. When we want to add it only to a specific tab, we need a better understanding of the underlying implementation. The floating action button wraps the given container in a layered layout and it places itself on top. It then returns a new container, which you should use instead of the original container. Normally that's pretty easy to do, but it's obviously impossible to do within friends container as it's the container. The solution is to implement this code in the main form class. Here we created a tab for the contact upload. We find the fab and grab the return value instead of the friends container instance. Pressing the fab will invoke the upload contacts method. Notice we add the returned friends container that we wrapped with the fab. Now that we have that, we can implement the upload contacts method. We need to fetch contacts from the system. It makes sense to do this on a separate thread as this is a heavy task. When we fetch the contacts, we specify the fields we are interested in. If we specify fewer fields, the fetch operation will be faster. Despite the name of the start thread method, we still need to invoke start on the returned thread. Once this is done, pressing that button should automatically prompt for permission and upload the contacts from your phone. In order to make the fab look good, we also need a couple of CSS changes. This mostly sets the fab to Facebook style blue color. Each friend suggestion has a button to accept or remove the suggestion. Each friend request has similar button pairs. We added the bind confirm delete event or bind add remove friends event call to bind event listing to the buttons. When we remove or add a button, we need to remove the container of the friend from the hierarchy. But at the stage where we bind the event, we don't have an instance of that container yet. A workaround is to locate that container by traversing through the hierarchy of the components. Here we recursively look through parent containers. We stop when the parent is the friend container itself. This relies on the fact that friend suggestion is added directly to the parent friends container. Once we have this implementing bind add remove friend event and bind confirm delete event becomes trivial. We send a friend request to the server when the button is pressed. After removing the container with the friend suggestion, we animate the remaining UI into place. We refresh the me object as it might be stale after this change. The rest of the code is nearly identical. We invoke the server API code to trigger the appropriate server changes. With this, we can now send and accept friend requests. The last piece in the UI mapping is notification support. This is pretty trivial now that we finished everything. Just like before, we no longer need the last time value and can use the paging support instead. We iterate over the notification objects and create entry components for each one. New notifications will arrive via push when we implement the push support later on. With that, we are effectively done with the first part of the app. We have a fully working client server mockup. There are still a lot of missing pieces, but this just became a process of filling in the gaps. It's much easier to fill in the gaps once the foundation is laid out in place.